Greetings, greetings everyone. I hope you're doing great. God is good all the time and the presence of the Lord is here. He has granted us this opportunity to be able to hear his word and may his name be glorified in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for this gathering. Thank you for what you are yet to do. We give you honor and glory. Holy Spirit, you take over all the lives. Everyone watching me right now, may you move in their lives in your own special way in the name of Jesus. I want to share one thing you shouldn't underestimate in prayer. There are many things that you should put in place, prayer strategies, and God has given us wisdom to know what to do, and the Holy Spirit is here to help us. So I'm sharing this today, and this one thing is very important. I'm going to read the Word of God, and in this scripture, you will see what I'm talking about. And I'll explain a little bit more so that it sinks into your spirit and you'll be able to take action. I'll read Luke chapter 5 verse 17. One day while Jesus was teaching, some Pharisees and teachers of religious law were sitting nearby. It seems that these men showed up from every village in all Galilee and Judea, as well as from Jerusalem. And the Lord's healing power was strongly with Jesus. And the Lord's healing power was strongly with Jesus. This is what I'm going to emphasize on because it's important not to underestimate this one thing while you're praying. This channel was born to focus on elevating your prayer life and anything that is there to help you pray more effectively, I am here to share it. In this scripture, you can see that the power to heal was strongly upon Jesus. The anointing power of the Spirit of God to break every infirmity, sickness, disease was present in Jesus because Jesus was present in that area, in that room, in that place. And when you are praying, you should know that Jesus is present with you. Even though you cannot see him, he's there. His presence is there. The Holy Spirit is there. You are praying with power and praying right because the Holy Spirit is helping you. Otherwise, we cannot pray in our own strength. It's by God's grace. It's by His grace that we are able to pray and answers come our way. And this one thing that I don't want you to underestimate when you are praying is putting your demand on the anointing putting your demand on the power of the Holy Spirit, His presence. When you are praying and you can sense His presence after worshiping, after praising, and you start praying, the supernatural power of God takes over. We welcome the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is present to do miracles. The Holy Spirit is present to break every bondage, to break every chain. Otherwise, it's useless to pray. You pray because you want the situation to change. You pray because you want a different outcome. So you have to put a demand on the anointing. Put a demand on the power of the Holy Spirit. Put a demand on that atmosphere. When you see that you have broken forth now, you are praying with power and you can sense the presence of the Holy Spirit. When you start praying, it's not the same as when you go deep into prayer. When you just start praying and you feel like you want to sit or you want to stand or maybe to stop praying altogether or go and read the Bible, the mind is still wandering. But after worshiping, after going deep into the Holy of Holies, you see that the presence of God takes over. That is your breakthrough moment. That is your breakthrough moment. That is the time that now the Holy Spirit is present to do miracles, to do wonders. and Signs and wonders will follow after your prayers when you understand this one part, when you don't underestimate the presence of God, when the atmosphere is charged, when your room is recharged, when you welcome the presence of the Holy Spirit and only He is able to help you pray. Now you start to pray with groanings that cannot be uttered. You start to feel like you want to pray even more. You cannot stop praying. 
Put your demand on that anointing. Put your demand on that presence of God. What is that demand? You demand that let this anointing break every yoke. Let my situation turn around for my good. The anointing is present. Nothing happens without the supernatural power of the living God. Do you know the reason why prayers are not answered? Religious churches, there are no miracles happening. It's because they hold this religious form of the word of God, of God, but denying the power. The Bible talks about that. And you shouldn't deny the power. It's your time to put your demand on that presence of God, on that atmosphere. You can call it anything, but it's the presence of the Most High God. The Holy Spirit is moving. Hallelujah. It shouldn't be only in church. In your home, you can worship and bring the presence of God into your home. And while you're praying in that room, let miracles begin to happen. Let poverty live your life. Stagnation break. Delay. Go back its laws and go. Put your demand on the presence of God. Put your demand on that anointing. And most of the time we underestimate this. We just pray and without even considering that the presence of God is here, the Holy Spirit has taken over, no difference. No making that difference to say, why am I feeling like this? Something has shifted. You have to be alert in the spirit to know now things have changed. I'm no longer on this level. Now I've gone to the next realm. And that realm, that higher realm is where now things begin to happen. There's no more traffic to your breakthrough. No power anywhere can stop the blessing of God. And when you put your demand on that, you will see that your breakthrough is going to come very fast. I've noticed this and when I sense the presence of God, I don't want to waste it. When I sense that there's something different now, I am praying in a different way, like it's not me anymore. The Holy Spirit has taken over. Remember that the Holy Spirit says you don't know how to pray. The Holy Spirit is the one who helps you to pray with groanings that cannot be uttered. It's now words that you did not understand, that you didn't even plan on that paper, or maybe you didn't even think of. There's no room to thinking of what to say. The Holy Spirit starts to give you what to say. And that is the moment that you find yourself praying according to the will of God. That is the time that you start to pray and bring that breakthrough, that blessing from the realm of the spirit to the physical realm. Do not underestimate this. Every single time you are in prayer, take notice. Know the level you are in. When you see that now the Holy Spirit has taken over, put your demand. Let everything that is not working in your life begin to change. Let every chain be broken. That's where self-deliverance comes. Self-deliverance, you can be set free in your home because the Holy Spirit is there. You welcome the presence of the Lord. You welcome the Holy Spirit. And you see that when I say these prayer points for deliverance or for anything, I put first to praise and worship. You have to bring the presence of God down in your room so that the Holy Spirit can pray. He knows how to break chains. He knows how to pray for you. He knows how to use your mouth, your own mouth, to break chains. He knows what is hidden. He knows what is in secret places. You start to declare things that you are like, ah, why am I saying like this? Why was I praying about that? I just felt in my spirit that I should pray for this person. That is the Holy Spirit helping you. When you are in that prayer room, on that prayer altar, do not overlook the presence of God. Do not be so blind. Do not be so busy, distracted into doing other things. Sense the presence of God because that is your breakthrough moment. That is the time that God wants to do something in your life. The Holy Spirit is ready to do great things, to break chains and set you free. You have taken your Bible and you are good. You didn't take time to sit and say, what is happening around me here? Am I still myself? Is it the Holy Spirit praying through me? What is it that I have to do to bring the presence of God? Why am I feeling this way? Why, why can't I break through? Why can't I break forth while I'm praying? You have to examine yourself 
and make sure that there's nothing blocking the move of the Holy Spirit. The move of the Holy Spirit is not only in crusades. The move of the Holy Spirit can be in your home. Revival can come in your house. Revival can be in your home that you are praying and you feel something is happening already. And you start to declare and you start to break it to pieces, that situation that is no longer there. You start to decree that your breakthrough is here. There was a time that I was praying and the moment I started worshiping and praising God, I sensed the move of the Holy Spirit. And instead of continuing, I took a song. A song just came upon my spirit and I started jumping, dancing. I started declaring big, big things. I started to declare that my breakthrough was ready. My breakthrough was already perfected. I forgot that that anointing was for my daughter because she was not feeling well. The previous night she was sick and I asked the Lord to heal her. And that anointing was for my daughter to put a demand on that anointing so that God could heal my daughter. This just came upon me. You cannot go wrong when you are in the presence of God. Even if you make a mistake, he will correct you. Me, I was dancing for something else. I thought, oh, this presence now is because of what I've written on the, on the prayer card and God has answered. I started thanking God and the Holy Spirit reminded me about my daughter who was lying in the room and she was not feeling well. I went there. I took my anointing. I went in the room, laid my hands upon my daughter for the healing hand of God to move upon her body. I was moving in power. My daughter was just so patient and I prayed. I, I anointed her stomach. I anointed her head. I knew from that moment that she was healed. I went back in my room and I was praying, thanking God for healing and thanking the Holy Spirit for helping me, for moving me to why he brought that anointing. Remember in the scripture we've just read, the anointing power of the Spirit of God to heal was so strong upon Jesus. And Jesus healed the sick. Every sick person was healed. There's an anointing for everything you are looking for. Is it healing? Marital delay to be broken? Is it stagnation to pack its loads and go to the pit of hell? Is it financial breakthrough? Is it your children, your family, your marriage, that relationship, your business, your career? What is it? Your spiritual growth, drawing closer to God. Yes, personal growth, personal spiritual growth. There's an anointing for that. God releases his anointing specifically for that situation. I know that his presence is for everything. But when there's a situation, God will release his anointing and he will point you to that situation. Do not underestimate that. When you are praying, it's your moment to break forth, to break through and to demand for that which is not to become. This is what I wanted to share. I hope you found it helpful. May the name of the Lord be glorified. If you are new to this channel, God has led you to the right place. And I want you to take time to subscribe because you are being part of spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. Continue commenting, share your testimonies, watch other videos that I recommend at the end of this video. Stay blessed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.